Hello students, uh, my name is Santosh Kumar and I am the course instructor for machining sciences and tool design. So we are uh, discussing module number one that is metal cutting theory and dynamometry. So in this video we will discuss about piezoelectric dynamometry. <music> the crystals uh, exhibit the electromechanical uh, action the are referred to as uh, electromechanical transducers are uh, called as a piezoelectric devices that is uh, the crystals which when it is a load or strain there will be an electric charge which is coming flowing out of this so such kind of uh, uh, electromechanical transducers are used as a piezoelectric devices are used in a piezoelectric devices so depending upon the location of this crystal with respect to axis so the, how this uh, crystal is located uh, with respect to axis uh, based on that it uh, senses a different types of load uh, for normal stress the orientation is different the shear stress the orientation is, is different so when the input is a stress the output is a small electrical charge that may be used to measure dynamometric forces so when we are uh, straining it so when we are applying a load here so the output which comes is a charges so these charges is a measure of how much load which is coming onto this that is to measure the dynamometer forces. So quartz is a piezoelectric material used in modern uh, dynamometers. So why quartz is used mostly used is because it is having certain advantages. So most uh, force sensors have elastic element the deflection of which is a measure of force. So with quartz piezoelectric sensors the deflection involved uh, are of atomic dimensions rather than a micro rather than in microns in strain gauges. So when you compare it to strain gauges, uh, the deflections involved in the, are of atomic dimensions and are not in microns. So the, this is why it is being mostly used in a modern dynamometers. So this uh, provides uh, a, a transducer very great stiffness, high natural frequency, low rise time and uh, also high time constant. So a quartz transducer also have a uh, very high uh, resistance and useful anisotropic property. So next uh, we will move on to the other slide. Uh, that is you can see in this slide the orientations of the uh, chrysoelectric, uh, piezoelectric crystals is uh, shown here. So this depending on the orientation of a platelet clut from a single crystal. So this platelets having a number of crystals. So usually three layers of uh, crystals are packed inside this uh, platelet and uh, they based on this orientation for example this is the axis is uh, uh, about x axis uh, so so this will be able to sense the compression cut and uh, this one will be able to sense the shear uh, cut based on the orientation of the axis of it so usually it will be a three component washer so which we'll discuss in next slide so as you can see in this uh, sketch, it's a three component uh, washer platelet. So A, B and C. So A, A, uh, A washer is used to sense the force in a X direction that is Fx. So B washer is used to sense Fz and C washer is used to sense Fy. So all these are packed together and stacked inside this platform. Uh, so there will be a ceiling which is provided so because uh, once this on this platform there is a tool holder which is mounted on this platform so if there is any cutting fluid which is used for lubrication and heat dissipation purpose, purpose falls on this it should not uh, damage this quad so it will be sealed so that no cooling uh, fluent will enter this inside this platform so this figure uh, shows this uh, dynamometer with the tool holding attachment mounted on a top plate such a dynamometer would be used in turning studies with tools of moderate size so whereas this dynamometer can be used for turning, milling, other operations. So in this case there is a one more washer which is getting added up uh, along with the three washers that is to measure the moment. So figure shows a platform with four washers, uh, each three component wa force sens sensor uh, mounted between upper and lower plates and interconnected to produce a three component platform dynamometer. So, this is a three component platform dynamometer we have a lower middle and upper so this type of dynamometer is convenient for turning milling and a variety of other metal cutting studies so the piezoelectric crystals are active elements 
in that they produce an output uh, only when subjected to change in force. Uh, however, with a very high impedance, when combined with uh, high impedance circuitry enables them to retain a charge for an extended period of time, uh, providing a quasi-static character. So very small charge uh, must be converted to equivalent charge in voltage in, uh, in millivolts. So that is the job of a amplifier. So if there is a small charge which is coming out, so it has to be ampl amplified to higher voltage. So that is the role of amplifier. So figure uh, shows the typical measuring chain for a drilling operation. So that is this. So this one is used for drilling operation and also the milling operation. Uh, so the signals are transmitted from rotating dynamometer by telemetry. So the dynamometer of this type is useful for multi-edge uh, tool studies. That is if you can see since that is in a milling and a drilling there will be multi-edge uh, cutting tools. So where force on a individual cutting edges are, to, are of interest. So the dynamometer requires a charge amplifier or called uh, high impedance units. A low impedance units uh, introduced in the mid 1960s have built in uh, charge amplifiers for each element. So low impedance uh, units will be having a built in uh, charge amplifiers whereas high impedance uh, units has to have an external amplifier to amplify the output. So in case of low impedance unit there is uh, no need of external uh, uh, multi-channel charge amplifier. So these are uh, this is about uh, piezoelectric uh, crystals which is used in dynamometers. So those are called uh, piezoelectric dynamometry. So we